Hello folks, this is Ted White. Now this is the audio that's coming from my camera's microphone. And this is the audio that's coming from my wireless microphone, which is connected to my laptop. Now today I'm going to show you how to sync audio and video in CapCut PC. And I'm going to show you two different methods on how to do it. The first method will be how to automatically sync the audio and video. And the second method will be how to manually sync the audio and video. And that will be done by using the clapping method. Let's check it out. All right, folks. So what I've done here is I've imported two clips. The one to my right is a simple screen recording, but it contains the good audio that I took from this microphone right here which is my wireless microphone, which is connected to my laptop. The clip on the left is my high quality video that I wanna use for this tutorial, but the audio from this video came from that camera right over there. So it's not as good as the audio from my wireless microphone. So what I'm going to do, or my objective for today, is to sync this audio to this video. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag and drop this particular screen recording down to the timeline. And I'm just gonna take the playhead, and as you can see, there's nothing really on the screen recording. It just stays in the same spot the whole time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click, and then I'm gonna go up to extract audio. And then I'm gonna right click on the screen recording again, and I'm just gonna go to delete, all right? because we don't need it. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the video here and I'm gonna drag and drop it down to the timeline, all right? And then what you're gonna wanna do next is this is probably gonna be on for you, main track magnet. So you're gonna wanna turn it off. So you're gonna wanna click on this and unhighlight it, all right? And then what you can see here is there's audio waveforms that are right here as well as right here. So the audio waveforms for the video that I have on the top here, the audio is, I don't wanna use this, but in order to sync the audio here with this video here, we have to include this audio which is attached to the video here, okay? We can actually get rid of that after the fact but in order to sync the video with audio, we need everything to be intact, all right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this, just an open space, and drag, and make sure that I highlight both clips here. And then I'm going to release, and then I'm gonna right click, and then I'm just gonna select sync audio and video. And then what that does is it's now synced this audio, with this video. So now we have a couple of steps that we have to do. I already know that I want to use this, everything from here to here is a take, okay? And we don't need. It's all of this audio right here that is what I'm going to be using. And this audio up here is identical. It's just smaller, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the playhead and move it over to here, all right? Right before I start speaking, and this is the, the main audio that I'm going to be using. And since both of these are still highlighted, as you can see, these are both highlighted, you can go over here and select delete left, okay? And it'll get rid of all of this and all of this. So I'm just going to click on that. So that's all gone, okay? And remember, this needs to be unhighlighted because if it wasn't, then one of these would go over there and the other would stay here and it would no longer be synced. All right, so what I'm gonna do is the same thing with the right, right after here. So right about here, I'm just going to go over here and select delete right, okay? Now, what we have here, it should be synced, the audio should be synced with the video, but here's one thing, we still have the audio uh, for, we still have the bad audio up here, so you have a couple of options. You can either just turn it down just by going like that and bringing it to zero, or you can leave it here and 
click off of this and then click back on so it's just highlighting the top clip and then right click and you can go up to extract audio. So what that actually did was it C C0015. Well, this is C0015. So it extracted it underneath the good audio that I want to use, but that's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this, right click, and I'm going to delete it. And then what you can do is you can just click on both of these, highlight them both, right click, select create compound clip, and then you can just, I'm going to play it from the beginning of this clip, and we're just going to play. Hello folks, this is Ted White. Now this is the audio that's coming from my camera's mic. Now that's that's not actually the audio coming from the camera, but it's something I'm going to use in the intro. So uh, I will be adjusting that. So this is actually the good audio that we are using. Microphone, and this is the audio that's coming from my wireless microphone, which is connected to my laptop. Now today I'm going to show you how to sync audio and video in CapCut PC, right, so and I'm going to show you see... two different methods on how to do it that is perfectly synced all right so i'm going to show you the second method which is the manual way of syncing the audio and the video so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this so i'm going to right click and just select delete so that's gone disappeared now what we're going to do is we're going to do the same thing that we did for the first clip or the first go around the, the automatic so what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag and drop this screen recording down to the timeline. And then I'm gonna right click on it and I'm gonna select extract audio. And then I'm gonna right click on the screen recording and delete it, cause we do not need it. And then I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna take this video, drag and drop this down to the timeline. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and go to track settings. I'm gonna go to track height and I'm gonna make it tall. And then I'm going to go over here to track settings again. And I'm going to go to audio waveform size and I'm going to make it at 100%. And this way it's easier to see. And then you can kind of line things up. All right. So you can kind of see this is, matches this, this matches this. What you're going to do is you're going to move this. So you're going to take this and you're going to move it and you're going to try and line these up. All right. So you're going to get this as close to the possible. And when I say the claps, the easiest thing is to try and get a clap here. Okay. And try and match these up. And the way you can match these up, the claps kind of stick out. As you can see right here, they're just one, two, three, four. So match one of these up. Maybe we'll go for the second one and try and match it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in on the timeline. And the more you zoom in on the timeline, the more relatively, the more accurately you can get it. So this looks to be pretty good, pretty close. So I'm just going to go a little bit more if it'll let me try and drag it so that it's right about here. That looks perfect to me. So what I'm going to do is zoom back out on the timeline and this should be very, very accurate. So I'm going to go to track settings. I'm going to go to track height. I'm going to go to default and then I'm going to go to audio waveform size and then go to 30%. We're back to normal here. So then what I'm going to do is I should click on this and then right click and then I should go up to extract audio. All right. And then what I should do is right click on this and select delete. Okay. So let's put this on full screen and I'm going to press play. Hello folks. This is Ted White. Now this is the audio that's coming from my camera's microphone. And this is the audio that's coming from my wireless microphone, which is connected to my laptop. Now today I'm going to show you how to sync audio Folks. and video in CapCut PC. And I'm gonna 
So this looks, this looks I'm gonna show you two different methods on how to do it. Perfect. The Once again, all you do here is click. So I'm just going to zoom out of the timeline here. And then all you do is click on both of these. So you just highlight, so click, click, hold the click, highlight both clips, right click, create a compound clip. And these both are together. You can extract it, do what you want with it, okay? But will be how to automatically sync the audio and video. All right, but that is how you sync audio with video in CapCut PC. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helped you out and I hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.